Hello everyone, I am Anjali Ahuja from Canada. I will speak about the golden opportunity teachers currently have to shake things up, shift the paradigm and make their reach infinite. Thank you Didactics India Association for this invitation. Recently, I heard someone say something that made me start thinking about it in the context of education and the situation we are in now. Let's think about this. A Lego structure which would be our education system was made several years ago. Now we would like to change the design, but we are afraid to break it and make a new structure. And then one day the structure broke and was shattered. Many people were unhappy about it. But few people saw an opportunity to use the pieces and make a whole new and more beautiful structure. Think about this in our context during these difficult times. Not being able to stand in front of a classroom to teach and not knowing when we will be able to do that next must seem like the broken structure. However, we must take this as a huge opportunity to change the education system and make it what we may have always wanted it to be. So shake it up and shift the paradigm. We have to build from ground up. So start thinking as if there is no box at all. A good place to start would be to stop calling it remote learning and start calling it learn from anywhere and teach from anywhere. This will make your reach infinite. In my TEDx talk in 2010, I emphasized that the most essential C for the 21st century is courage. Have courage to take risk. Be a role model for students to help them become courageous, confident and risk takers. Remember that if a person is not making mistakes, demonstrates that he or she has probably never done anything. Think about what we want our students to learn before we decide what we want to teach them. When preparing lessons, think about how to discuss the topic with students rather than how to impart knowledge. Consider motivation and purpose before creating an assessment. Think through the pedagogical reasons before choosing a technology to use. Encourage inquiry. Understand that the students, especially in those in senior classes, are stressed at this time. So please be flexible. Continue to remind yourself that testing is not the only way to assess learning and explore alternate methods to do that. If you are thinking like everyone else you are not thinking is one of my favorite quotes. Try new ways and methods to do things differently. Think of innovative ways to use technology tools that you already have available at this time. Don't try to learn or access too many of these tools because they will overwhelm you. Use what you have and don't get peer pressured. It is not a competition. Just try to be creative and original. We may be concerned about the level of motivation of students because they are not in our classrooms at this time. But remember that the parents are home with them and may be keeping a closer eye on what the children are doing. Try to get the support from parents because they will be a huge resource in your students' learning. The advantage would be that learning will become teamwork between the student, parents and you. Don't they say it takes a village? All that the time has come for us to step up and take the lead in finding new and innovative ways to educate our students. It is also time to reflect and share and collaborate and assist others. Remember, it is not a competition. 
but a cooperation. Take a deep breath and smile. We are living in the best of times and we have the power of technology in our hands to reach out to all our students and inspire them. I would like to end with some quotes. Life's most important lessons are not found in the lesson plans. A word of encouragement from a teacher can change a life. Thank you.